today we're looking at the updated 6.2 special site. We looked at this previously when there wasn't really anything posted on it, but today the 4th of August got an update to it. Of course we're going to get regular updates to the site closer we get to the release of 6.2 itself which still doesn't have an official date. If we scroll down this page, you'll see that everything is new on here, including images of the new storyline, including uh, write-ups for this. So it says, five millennia ago, the great worm Az Azdaya vanished into the void, and for long years, Vitra had despaired of being reunited with his dear sister. With the encouragement of his people, however, he has found the resolve to search for her and sets forth with the warrior of light for a world engulfed in darkness so obviously this is where the 6.2 storyline is going we've got three images the first of course of the uh, the satrap there then we have of course sid nero and uh, biggs and then finally we have this image which seems to be as most people predict the void scent version of um, um of xenos right the the attached void scent uh, to his Reaper form, if we are to, to believe that. If not, I have no idea what else this actually is. It's a really awesome looking model, though, with these sort of tentacles or tendrils and yeah, it's all kinds of all kinds of messed up. So it looks like the Warrior of, of Light gets to meet this Void Scent. I'm only sure how that can go will be quite horrible. Then we have probably the crown in the jewel of this website update today the thing that everybody will be atta attracted to in including myself we have our first official in-game images of island sanctuary that's that's pretty special if you uh, if you agree it says find sanctuary in an island paradise abundant with wildlife where crops may be sown and minions let to roam what will you learn in nature's embrace and what will you create from this newfound inspiration? Make ready to set sail, for your hideaway awaits. We have two images, the first of which is the cove sort of entrance. We've got a little rowboat. We've got this beautiful sandy beach with palm trees. You'll also notice in this picture at the top right, we have one of the structures. It seems to be some kind of fishing place. We've got like fishing nets on the roof. It's very hard to sort of look at something that small. We have some kind of buildings there. We also have flowers dotted around of different colors. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the structures, like a fishing shack or something. It does look like this slowly goes up and then probably has a ramp up this way. Or maybe there's a, a cave. But uh, it definitely seems like one of the, the entrances to the island. You'll see how big this place actually is. Look at this goes all the way around here we briefly saw an image on the live letter in fact i'll just put it up on screen now this one which shows in perspective how big this island actually is knowing that the image they've shown here today is just the little sliver at the bottom um, and the rest of it was blurred out just goes to show how big this place actually is so if we go back to the images the second image really does put into sort of perspective that big rocky mountain or volcano in the distance we have this beautiful waterside lake sort of area or streams we've got all these trees it looks like a untouched paradise doesn't it it's absolutely beautiful i am very excited for island sanctuary i intend to do a lot of content based on the new features included into island sanctuary including streams as well so this has got me very excited very excited indeed amazing stuff and that's not all on this website we now have uh, images of the fell court of troia it says having uncovered the void gate in the undersea treasure vault which is the one in the storyline you now seek to use it to travel to the 13th beyond the emptiness of a rift awaits a shadowed castle swarming with void scent and you steal yourselves for a hostile reception. The first image then, we actually saw a, uh, this on a live letter. It is beautiful to have it in this proper resolution now though, and in all the detail. So this is what the 13th shard looks like, and of course, a section of it with this amazing looking castle. It really does remind me of like Castlevania in a, in a weird kind of way. Very, very, I, I can't wait to uh, to get involved in that. And then we have this, which is clearly some of the monsters or a boss 
inside this new dungeon. You'll pay special attention to the weaponry here. I don't recognize this weapon, um, and I certainly don't recognize some of the bits of gear here. So if anybody else does recognize this uh, out, you know, these outfits and sets, let me know. But I'm fairly sure those are new, or, or at least I don't recall where those are from. The monsters do look quite terrifying, though. I, I, I can't wait to uh, see those in the game. All kinds of void scent monstrosities. If we scroll down, we also have a little image and a write-up of the new Unreal trial, which of course is going to be Sephiroth Unreal, which is Containment Bay Sit 7. In the name of satisfying the foe commander's craving for harrowing tales, you hearken back to your fateful encounter with the dread icon Sephiroth, first pillar of a warring triad. The memory still looms as large in your mind as it did the great fiend stirred from dreams of vengeance. So everybody who was excited about revisiting Sephiroth, raise your hand. That's not a lot of hands. So it'll be the true new sort of experience for players who didn't get to do the extreme version of this. It's promised to be obviously a little bit easier than the extreme, but it's going to be um, still quite taxing, I would imagine. And uh, I can't wait to see how much they have changed and how little they have changed at the same time. We also have a section on new systems, which include the main scenario revisions. You'll be pleased to know that from these images of what has changed. It says the duty support system has been expanded to include five additional dungeons from A Realm Reborn and Heavensward, some of which feature key characters from a story. Certain trials have also been revamped for a smoother adventuring experience. The duties newly added to the duty support system are as follows. So this includes Snowcloak, the Keeper of the Lake, Som Arl, the Airy, and the Vault. Further upgrades will be progressively implemented in future patches. And as you can see here, looking awesome, you do actually get to play now with uh, members of the Scions. There's Isael, there's Alphino, and there's Astinian. That's going to be amazing to fight against like Tiaman and all of the other bosses. And then, of course, we have... Um, I don't really recognize any of these other characters. I, I mean, I, I presume these are just NPCs. I'm not really sure. Um, but as you can see, the Moogle Mog fight is completely different. I don't remember there being floating Moogle heads with AoEs below them. This is completely different fight. So presumably the which order do we kill the, the Moogles and how do we deal with this is probably something they wanted to stay away from. Um, but yeah, visually this is going to be very interesting and uh, it might very well change my opinion on Good King Moogle Mog for the rest of time. I'm not a fan of the extreme. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see how how the normal mode has changed as well. But yeah, there we go. And then if we go down course we have what we had last time the purchase options the main details of what's in there and currently um, if you click on the media section it'll bring up all of those pictures so if you really want a nice picture of your island sanctuary for your background you totally can go do that just looking at these two images I think those are the things I want to take from this the most um, we are obviously going to be getting some in-game previews or at least that was referenced to be included in the next live letter so I will be covering that as soon as I physically can. I'm very excited to see uh, all of the details from 6.2, but the more they release on websites like this, the more excited, admittedly, I get. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know if you're excited for Island Sanctuary or any of the other additions in this amazing special site update, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.